React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces, often used for building single-page applications and mobile applications. It provides a component-based structure for creating reusable UI elements and allows for efficient updates and rendering of components when data changes. React utilizes a virtual DLM to update only specific parts of the user interface, making it highly performant. Pros of React Reusable Components One of the key benefits of React is the ability to build reusable UI components that can be easily composed to create complex user interfaces. Virtual DOM React uses a virtual DOM, which is a lightweight in-memory representation of the actual DOM. This allows React to efficiently update the UI when data changes, making applications fast and responsive. Server-side rendering React supports server-side rendering, which can improve the initial loading performance of an application. Performance React is optimized for performance and is typically faster than other JavaScript libraries for building user interfaces. Large Community React has a large and active community of developers, making it easy to find support, solutions to problems, and a wealth of resources. Cons of React Steep Learning Curve React can be difficult to learn for developers who are new to it, especially because it uses a different approach to building user interfaces than other popular libraries. JSX React uses JSX, a syntax extension for JavaScript, which can be a barrier to entry for developers who are not familiar with it. Complexity React applications can become complex and difficult to maintain as they grow, especially if they are not structured properly. Dependence on other libraries React is often used in conjunction with other libraries and tools, such as Redux for state management, which can make it more difficult to set up and understand for new developers. Steep Learning Curve for Designers React can be challenging for designers who are used to working with traditional templates, as it requires a different way of thinking about UI components and layout. On the other hand, Vue.js is a progressive JavaScript framework for building user interfaces. It provides a reactive and composable structure for building complex web applications with a minimal amount of code. Vue's template-based syntax and component-based architecture make it approachable for developers with a range of experience levels. Its small size and focus on performance make it a popular choice for building high-performing, lightweight applications. Additionally, Vue.js supports a large ecosystem of plugins and tools for additional functionality. Pros of Vue.js Lightweight and fast, Vue.js is designed to be fast and performant, making it a good choice for building large-scale applications. Reactive and composable Vue.js uses a reactive data model, making it easy to manage and update your application state. Additionally, components can be easily composed to create complex user interfaces. Versatile and flexible, Vue.js can be used for building a variety of applications, from single-page apps to complex, multi-page applications. Additionally, it can be easily integrated into existing projects or used with other libraries. Strong Community and Ecosystem Vue.js has a large and growing community of developers who contribute to the framework and create plugins and libraries for it. Cons of Vue.js Steep Learning Curve While Vue.js is relatively easy to learn, it can take some time to fully understand its concepts and best practices. Limited resources compared to other frameworks, Vue.js is a relatively new framework compared to others like React and Angular, and as such, it has a smaller pool of resources and documentation available. Complexity can increase as the application grows. As a project grows and becomes more complex, it can be harder to manage the state and maintain a consistent architecture. If you are lazy in your thinking and see concentrated, focused thinking as a chore, you will never truly be successful at programming. Programming is a thinking activity. As humans, we are really good at thinking, but the reality is that even though we naturally spend all day doing it, we are lazy in our thinking. The ability to maintain concentrated, focused effort on a single problem over a period of time is difficult if you aren't used to it. Symptoms of this include staring blankly at the screen, feeling a cloud descend on your thoughts, procrastinating on a problem, flipping between browser tabs, and desperately scanning Stack Overflow for an answer. These are signs that you have hit a mental limitation and need to find a way through. While programming, you will get tired and thinking literally burns physical energy just like exercising our bodies. When you aren't used to exerting the mental energy needed to it can feel difficult to stay focused, but it is just like going to the gym, the more that you do it, the stronger you will get. Your mind is a muscle. Trust that your brain is like a muscle. As you use it, it gets better and more efficient in its thinking. As you put pieces together and develop mental concepts, it becomes much easier to discover solutions. 
Choosing a JavaScript framework for a new project can be a daunting task. There's always a new one getting hype from the community, while the established players still have a lot to offer. So you need to do your homework and make sure the framework you choose is the right one for your specific requirements. Popularity alone is never the best indicator, but a review of the most widely used options should help you decide which way to go. Why do I need a JavaScript framework? There are many reasons to consider a framework. Frameworks provide the basic code you need to start your application so you can focus on your business logic. The framework you choose for your JavaScript application has already been tried and tested by a large community, which often makes it more reliable than code one person writes from scratch. A mainstream framework makes it easier to add new developers to your team, since many candidates are already familiar with it. Frameworks help you adopt effective patterns for your application structure. Simply put, frameworks save you time with reusable code and a structure for creating your application. If that sounds similar to a software library, it's because libraries and frameworks have a lot in common, but they're not quite the same. Broadly speaking, libraries contain functions and objects that perform common tasks. Frameworks go a step further with functions and objects that work together to implement one or more methodologies. Whether or not you want to use these methodologies should be part of your selection criteria. For example, Angular provides you with tools for implementing dependency injection and uses TypeScript. React doesn't describe itself as a framework but offers a robust, reusable component model and provides its own set of build tools. Each makes your job easier in its own way, and it's up to you to decide which one makes the most sense. So to help you do that, let's look at some of the best options for a new JavaScript project in this year. Angular Angular, along with React, is one of the two most popular web frameworks today. Angular is the successor to AngularJS and represents years of development and research. Top Features Angular uses TypeScript, a type-safe programming language that's the superset of JavaScript. This framework offers dependency injection, templates, forms, and powerful tools for building web components. Pre-rendering of content on the server gives you better SEO and faster browsing. You can reuse Angular code for desktop and mobile apps. Things to consider the Angular project is built on years of experience. The first version of Angular dates back to 2009, and it's evolved since then to a full-featured framework. Web applications built with Angular are considered heavyweight because of the size of Angular's JavaScript file. Google maintains Angular. Depending on how you feel about Google's history supporting products, this is either good or bad news. React As mentioned before, React's developers call it a library. While others insist it's technically a framework, the name does reflect React's design aesthetic. The authors built it to allow you more freedom in how you structure your app when compared to its competitors. Top Features React Native provides a seamless path for porting your web application to mobile and desktop platforms. React's JSX makes it easy to define and structure your HTML elements. The wide use and broad adoption of React helps your team grow more easily. Things to Consider Facebook maintains React, and some users are concerned about their terms of use or continued support for the library. A strong developer community means it's easy to find components like Material UI, React Bootstrap, and React Router to help you build a better application. Vue Vue is a popular alternative to React and Angular. It's considered easier to work with than the two bigger software frameworks. For example, while Angular effectively requires TypeScript, Vue provides optional support, including TypeScript bindings for versus code. Vue also has a native router, while React requires a routing plugin. Vue is an excellent option if you're interested in migrating an existing code base from homegrown code to an application framework. Top Features Vue's simplicity means a smaller file size for faster page loading, a less steep learning curve than React or Angular. Great tools via the Vue CLI. Things to consider. Consider the best of both worlds compared to React and Angular. An HTML-based templating syntax allowing developers to write components quickly and easily. Meteor. Meteor.js is a full-stack framework. You can use it to drive your web applications back and front end and to build desktop and mobile applications. Top features. Meteor integrates with any database backend that Node.js supports. MongoDB is the most commonly used backend with Meteor. The published subscribe protocol makes it easy to synchronize data between the database and GUIs. Things to consider. You'll probably need to select a full-featured framework to build your front-end. Even Meteor sample applications use frameworks like React and Vue. The Meteor community is active and engaged, providing community support on the forums and building and maintaining packages for public use. Ember.js 
Ember focuses on getting things done and getting them done quickly. Ember is an opinionated framework, enforcing what its architects feel are best practices. This can be a bit constrictive, as you'll need to learn and follow these best practices to use the framework. This makes it much easier for projects to get started, but some may find Ember's opinions frustrating. Top Features Opinionated features often make it easy for development teams to get on the same page when sharing code. Ember's command line tools are a powerful addition to any developer's toolkit. The Ember Inspector allows for easy inspection of Ember objects in your browser's developer tools. This can be used both while developing and while debugging issues. Things to consider Opinionated best practices make Ember very easy to build with, as long as you're willing to follow Ember's structure. It isn't the right tool for your project if you can't do that. Backbone Backbone has been around for a long time, but it's still under steady and regular development. It's a good choice if you want a flexible JavaScript framework with a simple model for representing data and getting it into views. Top Features Backbone is one of the most mature frameworks you'll find. It's stable and reliable. This is another lightweight framework that sports a minimal file size. You can plug in your templating engine or use underscore, one of Backbone's dependencies. Things to consider. Backbone is easy to get a handle on. It's a framework that lets you build your application the way you want with a core set of tools to work with. Backbone's model for integrating with RESTful APIs is remarkably easy to work with. Aurelia. Aurelia is a standards-based application framework. It follows the convention over configuration design pattern. Most applications can use Aurelia's generated code with no changes, but if you need to override the defaults, Aurelia is more than happy to get out of your way. Top Features Aurelia's approach to standards means it has a shallow learning curve. You'll find it easy to get your application up and running in very quickly. You can write your components in generic JavaScript or TypeScript and plug them into Aurelia. Aurelia's ecosystem offers plugins for nearly all major web development platforms. Things to consider Aurelia's attention to standards and its unobtrusive nature makes it easy to integrate with existing code. It's easy to extend Aurelia with code that fits into its conventions. Lit Lit is a JavaScript framework built on top of web component standards. Like Vue and Mithril, Lit aims to be a lightweight framework with little overhead and easy interoperability. Google recommends using Lit in place of Polymer, which is now in maintenance mode. Top Features Lit's components are also native web components. You can use them anywhere, even with other frameworks. At 5 kilobytes, Lit is the smallest framework in this list. Lit doesn't use the DOM to update components, so page updates are remarkably fast. Things to consider. Lit is another project supported by Google, so again, make of that what you will. Lit is lightweight, but its focus is on components. You'll need additional code for a complete application. Mithril. Mithril is a lightweight JavaScript framework that boasts a small file size, fast rendering, and a straightforward API. The official website offers easy-to-follow documentation that will get you up and running in no time. Top Features With a file size of over 10 kilobytes, Mithril's footprint is one of the factors in its shorter page loading and rendering time. Mithril has some of the best getting started guides and comprehensive documentation. Things to consider if you're looking for lean, Mithril may be your best bet. One of the reasons Mithril is so small is it doesn't offer features like JSX, ESX, file uploads, or authentication. You'll need to use a plugin or write the code yourself. So, which one? There's no single right or wrong answer to this question, of course. JavaScript is infamous for its proliferation of frameworks, but that means you have more choices. The best framework for you is the one that helps you and your team to be most productive and fits your application's unique needs. Regardless of what you choose to build your app, when it comes time to test, deploy, and maintain, you can rest assured that Raven has you covered with powerful error and performance monitoring. Add our JavaScript provider to your pages and start building a better and more robust application. Collaborating with other programmers and contributing to open source projects can provide invaluable experience, help you build relationships, and increase your visibility in the community. Sharing your knowledge and helping others can also be a rewarding experience. Just remember, every mistake is an opportunity to learn and grow. May you embrace every challenge as a chance to become a better programmer, and may you always have the courage to try new things. Good luck.